clear and uh, the the objective is that we have to uh, discuss or uh, write about the existence of the solution and the uniqueness of the solution so you should remember one thing that the, uh, there is important point to be noted here so uh, in this kind of problem the important point is that you don't try to solve it that is very important so because whenever you see a differential equation you will be tempted to solve the equation and uh, uh, if you are successfully able to solve the differential equation then you will think that okay solution exists like that you will be having an opinion but that is not the idea that is not the purpose also uh, the purpose is that we are not going to solve that is the point to be noted without solving the differential equation we are going to talk about the existence of the solution and the uniqueness of the solution which means that we are not at all going to solve so remember this point okay so now uh, that is the uh, point that we are going to discuss so how are you going to move that is quite simple so let me therefore write down what is the given statement and uh, what is known to you so that is a given and you can now compare with the uh, standard equation namely the right hand side function f of t comma y and then by comparing what do you understand that f of t comma y should be equal to y to the power of 1 by 3. So that's all about it and of course this is a function of t comma y but however t is not there it doesn't matter so if the t is not there then you can understand that this is an autonomous differential equation in addition y to the power is uh, 1 by 3 that is why it is non-linear okay y to the power exactly one means linear now it is 1 by 3 is there so we have a non-linear autonomous differential equation okay now we have to discuss about the continuity so i will also writing that uh, this particular uh, uh, function uh, that we are going to have here is what is written as a continuous function so and now let us evaluate the first order partial derivative so the first condition is satisfied so i am putting a tick and so what is the conclusion means the conclusion is that the existence of the solution is guaranteed and therefore now we will calculate the partial derivatives how many partial derivatives are there two partial derivatives are there so derivative is over now you have to tell whether it is a continuous function or not so now the point so we will make a uh, conclusion that it is not a continuous function especially at y equal to zero if you go outside y equal to 0, okay, no problem. But only for y equal to 0, there is a trouble. But once you have a trouble, no, uh, we are going to make a conclusion that it is not a continuous function. So the, now, the, uh, now the conclusion is clear. You have the existence of the theorem that is guaranteed. But uniqueness is not guaranteed because uh, it is not continuous. Uniqueness means only one solution. Not, not unique means there may be more number of solutions. It may have... Uh, two solutions or 20 solutions or infinitely many solutions the answer is that uh, the existence of the solution is there that means solution exists and the second point is that the solution is not going to be unique that means you may have more number of solutions so that's all that is a conclusion so i will write down what is the given problem dy by dt equal to y to the power of 1 by 3 which means that uh, you know the other steps are quite simple so i'll quickly write down and quickly write down what is the constant here so uh, you, you realize what it is right so you have this uh, <clears throat> what i'm trying to say is that you have t plus c but the question is that what is the c here now in order to determine the uh, this kind of arbitrary constant you have to apply the given initial condition what is the given initial condition y of 0 equal to 0 so substitute y of 0 equal to 0 here then uh, you can easily determine that the constant happens to be zero. Of course, uh, constant I have written as k instead of c, that's all. Okay, so the mon once you understand that the constant goes to zero, delete this and uh, uh, whatever is left out is what is written down here. So y will be equal to, uh, I'm taking this to the other side and therefore it becomes power three by two. So ultimately, what is your conclusion? No, right now you can see this is the one solution and this is another solution. It is also possible to prove that it is possible of course to prove that this particular uh, equation has more number of solutions than two you can also show three four five etc by adding some more additional constant inside the t the moment you say that there are two solutions, you say that uniqueness is lost that means you don't have unique solution you have more solutions that's all about it so that is the conclusion that we got from uh, directly from the theorem so the point to be noted is that you know uh, 
directly from the theorem you are going to make the conclusion not by the not by the actual solution of the differential equation but here we have uh, we here we have executed the actual solution in order to uh, in order to demonstrate whatever was visible in the theorem uh, can be seen by direct solution that's the meaning of course for complicated equation direct solution itself may not be possible in such a situation we can only talk about the existence and uniqueness okay so keeping this let us move ahead to another uh, i want to show another example 